Welcome back to another episode of Bavarian Motorworks. And today's episode is going to be about changing the fuel filter. So, you want to jack the car up. Make sure you use axle stands. Remember to lower it down so the, so the axle stands in place. And keep the jack in place just in case. Now for this job I believe you're going to need an 8 and a 7, I think. It's been a while since I've done this. So let's get under the car. Okay, we're under the car. We're under the passenger side. Just behind the passenger wheel and the fuel filter. Normally there's bolts here, but for some reason I haven't put them back. I'm not sure why I did that the last time. But it lives under here. Ooh. And there it is, and I think there's one more bolt there that I could loosen to get more access. So let me loosen that bolt there and then I'll bring you back. Okay for better access you want to loosen uh, that bolt there as well. And I think is there another one there? I think there might be. And then you can simply just get this down. So, this is the ah, yeah, you're going to need a uh, Torx bolt as well. So, let me, uh, let me get these uh, Jubilee clips loosened. And then I'll have to cut to go and get um, the Torx bit. I believe it's just one Jubilee clip, yeah, because that connection there is the uh, heater, and I think that pulls down to release it fully, so let's just uh, get this off here. Right, I'm gonna come back and get the appropriate Torx bolt for that. Okay, I'm back, and what you're gonna need is a T40. Just me, just myself, oh, that's better. Oh, actually, there's another bolt there. Oh, I'm not sure we're gonna need that one as well. Alright, that's just. loosen so I can turn this the rest of the way using my thumb power. It does look like there's, I think that, that might be a 10. Let's see if 8 fits, probably not. Nah, it's going to be a 10, so... Let's go grab a 10. Okay, it's a 10. There we go. I have to pull the uh, 
Let's turn you around a little bit. Oh, let the fall over. Don't want to damage his pipe, so. the clip out at least. And now I think do we pull it out that why will it go that way? I was trying to think did I disconnect this the last time? I think I might have done you out. So disconnect this uh, plug for the year. Uh, it's the filter heating plug. Which is gonna be an absolute asshole to get out. It's nearly out, stuck to it. I hate it when these plugs stick to it, it really does my head in. Okay, plug's loose now, and that should allow me a bit more room. There's another connection on the plug. Yeah, there's another fuel connection, but... Yeah. Oh dear. Some fuel's gonna come out now. So this is why it's a good idea to have a rag just to catch this excess fuel that Obviously, I didn't prepare with a rag, but I'll just get this off now. Okay, now. Let's get this bracket out of the way. really stick. There we go. One old filter out. Remember to take this ring off, you'll need that. Swap it over to your normal filter. Remember this is the way you need your clamp to go. Remember to take the nib off the end of the new filter. I don't think there is that side, no. Go for 
Did it into the fuel line? Now oh, let's put it to the other one. Something. I wonder if there's a specific way this goes. Right. And the answer to that is no, there isn't. It just slots in. It just wasn't giving it full force. Well, en enough force. So once we've done that, I need to put the clip back. In there we go. back in reposition this a ring ten mil not back on I'll not back off. <laughs> oh, what a day. Because obviously this clumps together. That on and out. Put the torques back in. You know what, that is the wrong way around. It's the wrong way around.
Or is it? Let me double check this and I'll have to come back. <laughs> Actually, it was the right way around. It wasn't wrong at all. Just remember to get your torques in at the same time. Otherwise, it won't go in the... Uh, in its designated hole, his threaded hole. So we should get that started. Revert back to the ten. Start tightening that up. Oh, okay. That's a good job I double check that because that wasn't on properly. So it's always worth double checking things. And I'd like this pipe to be in a little bit more. Okay, all that's left now is just to get this uh, Jubilee clip tightened. The way I test Jubilee clips personally is, is I try and move them round. If I can still move them round, they're not tight enough, but I can't move that one, so that's all good. And that's it. And that's the job done. And then you just need to put your cover back up. And uh, before you do, just put the cover back up and start driving the car I want to check to make sure there's no leaks so try to keep this cover down right that's better so I'm gonna go and start the car then hopefully we won't see any leaks
good. Job done. I think that's from my hands, that. Yeah. All good. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll bring you more videos as and when I do them. Thank you very much. Bye.